Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description, and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, if you've been living under a rock for the last couple of days, you wouldn't know that we have Black Friday on Friday, and in FIFA, we get a massive Black Friday promo. It's been full of promo packs, flash SBCs, Pretty much all content you can think of EA have been throwing into one, especially yesterday. Yesterday on Saturday, we got a lot of upgrade packs too. And what that's actually caused in the market is a massive downfall. Um, we've had a huge clash of the market. Uh, a lot of players are going for a lot cheaper than what they were before, but also players are rising. So I'm going to ask you for a week of... I have no idea what prices are, so I do apologize. If I have to check a player's price every five minutes, please bear with me. Um, all I ask is for you for this episode to bear with me just a little bit with the pricing uh, standpoint. And uh, next week, we should be back on top. Not that I ever get it right anyway. You know, I make mistakes pretty much every episode. But yeah, it might be a bit rough this week because... I don't even know what the market's doing right now. Without further ado, we're jumping straight into it. We've got Nathan's team first. Kante, Eto, Valverde and the bench are untradeable. Have 180,000 coins for upgrades to keep up the great content. Well, thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate it. So you've gone and packed Eto in your base icon pack. That's pretty mental, to be fair. GG on that. Um, and you're playing a 4-4-2 in-game with Son and Mares on your wings. Valverde and Kante, Eto and Werner. Um, realistically, with this team, I don't see a, a big upgrade you can make anytime soon. Like, this team is fantastic the way it is um and you know upgrade wise there are very few players you can get that that actually have a, or will have a big impact on this team now personal preference wise kyle walker or samedo i prefer samedo but i know a lot of you guys in the comments prefer kyle walker so i guess if you're looking for a, an upgrade at right back you can go with kyle walker um maybe at striker you can upgrade to a bamiyang as well a bamiyang in my opinion is just a bit better than Werner. he's got a bit more strength four star skills um but apart from that everything else in this team is absolutely great um and i'm guessing you are having a lot of fun with that eto because i've used at Eto. That card is incredible. That card is absolutely phenomenal. We have got Kareem's team next. Um, hey, mate, hope you're having a good day. I'm saving up for uh, XP for storyline. I do. I've got 40,000 coins, but I'm willing to save up. And my bench is Oko, Courtois, and the DCL are untradeable. Um, and this is why he's rocking. For some reason, some of these teams just turn out super blurry. And I have no idea why. You're playing a 4 triple two in game, though. I respect that. Uh, and obviously, you're, you're going to be using the storyline I do at left center back. What would I change with this team with 40,000 coins, you ask? That is a good question. Honestly, the only thing I, I, I don't like Griezmann. Now, is there anyone realistically you can upgrade to? Probably not. But I don't like Griezmann this year. I might be the only person that doesn't like Griezmann. But as a cam, I can understand it. As a striker, I really can't because it's not like Dominic Calvert-Lewin is bursting with pace either. I'm pretty sure Calvert-Lewin is um, 84 pace, maybe 88? 88 pace. And I know, obviously, you've got a catalyst on him, but it's still... I feel like you need at least one one striker with 90 plus pace. Like that's just the 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 golden rule I feel like in FIFA this year because of how good counter attacks and through balls are. Um, I find having a striker without 90 pace sometimes lets me down. In terms of who that striker could be, that is a good question, my friend. Um, I'm thinking maybe. Ah, huh, no. Hmm. No. Huh. That's a tough one. I don't know who you can go with here. My 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 mindset are blank. If you guys in the comments have any ideas to help out Kareem, please let him know. I've hit a blank here because I'm I'm trying to think of someone that gets you best chemistry, and I just don't think that's something that we can do. I don't think we can get you a really good a really good striker with chemistry there. Uh, the next one going from High Haber. High Haber, first pick is what I start on. The second is in game. I have 130k right now, but could easily get to 200k by Thursday. The tradables are Larice, Van Dyke, Allen, and Son, and Dembele. Congrats on the weight loss. Hey, thanks, brother. I appreciate that, man. And you got R9 in the base icon pack. Wow. GG on that. Honestly, I might be wrong, but those base icon packs were cracked. They were incredible. I, 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 they, they just seem juiced. This team's phenomenal, by the way. This team's absolutely fantastic. Um, realistically, again, it's going to be very hard for you to upgrade this team, if you can at all, to be honest. I would say uh, maybe you can upgrade to Paul Pogba um, as your other centre mid. Allen's really good, but I feel like it's centre mid this year. Uh, having just taller, better passes usually just seems like it's the way to go. So you could go with Paul Pogba over Allen. Um 
that again that's the only thing i can recommend to you realistically um unless we just wait for informs and stuff you know you can maybe save up towards getting an inform bruno Fernandes. he's a fantastic sentiment in the 442 i feel like this year um so that could be something you do um and then again you're just playing the waiting game because realistically defense is incredible midfield is very very good you've got one of the best attacks in the game as well with that base r9 now you just save, get some of the big boy icons, wait for icon SBCs. That's the beauty of it. We've got Rob Nay's team next. Hi, mate. 120. Wait, let me just make sure I've not missed anyone. Um, 120,000 coins. Everyone tradable bar the bench and Vidic, Walker, Kante, and Sissoko. Uh, I know I can't upgrade with 60,000 coins, but any ideas where to go from here? I play a 4 pursuing game. Salah and Martial out wide. Don't mind selling players. Keep it the good work. Hey, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Um, all right. Oh, rate. Right. You're right out of 10, I'm guessing what you mean. Wow. Ow, I don't know. I just got electric shock. Um, great team. This this team is is almost end game as well. I would say upgrades wise. Um, I know you grind for Kunde. I think Varane's better. Um, so maybe Rafael Varane, and then um, you're playing Martial out wide. I'm wondering if there's a player you can go for at that right cam spot that would be better. French wise, centralized French players this year. Who can you go with? Let me have a quick look. Uh, players. French. We'll just have a look at French players for now that aren't icons. Um, you obviously have Inf uh, Inform Ben Yedder if you want to go for him. He might be a decent shout for you. Um, who else have we got here? Anyone? Any good shouts? Not really. I mean, there's obviously the Romain Alessandrini as well. That That is another card that just came out if you're looking for, for someone like him. Decent SBC. Again, Another one that I'd say maybe icon SBCs. To be honest, I feel like the baby Hernandez might be a better player than than Martial, but I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. In terms of price, though, the icon SBCs aren't that much at the minute, I feel like. I feel like they're decent value. Like 400k, 400k, decent value for these two icons, if you ask me. Veron's a solid midfielder in game. Hernandez is a really nice striker as well. I think they're good value, especially if you get fodder in the club. But yeah, this team, again, is another... Uh, another team I wouldn't really touch until team of the year because it's, again, phenomenal. You've got two of the best CDMs in the game. You've got the best strike force in the game. You've got really good cams and one of the best defenses in the whole game as well. Um, another one that I wouldn't really change much. We've got Chicken Butties next. I have no coins. Everyone untradeable. Any ideas on where I go with my team? Love the vids. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. I'm guessing you're playing maybe a 4 on 2 on 2 narrow as you have three midfielders, three attackers. That would be my guess unless you play Seedorf as a cam. If you do, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um... Upgrade wise, I would say Ake would be the next upgrade. Ake for um, maybe a uh, rule breaker Laporte or a VVD. You could also change your goalkeeper up as well. Um, you can go with Nick Pope in goal and play uh, Joe Gomez as your left CB and then get him on full chemistry. Um, you can also go with the likes of Furlan Mendy. You could, what you could do is, uh, this is going to be something you do in the far future because coins are going to be uh, a lot for this. But you can go with this Rule Breaker Laporte card if you get to the coin uh, coin balance. He's, what, about 500k? It's got, uh, like I said, this is far in the future. Uh, but your end game goal could be Laporte left centre-back, Furlan Mendy left back, and then... Because uh, realistically, your midfielder wouldn't change for a while. That's a really good midfield. Your attacker wouldn't really change for a long time as well, unless you want to try and grind um, towards getting a better right mid. Um, I wouldn't really change a whole lot either. Um, so yeah, I'd say maybe just working on the defense. That's the only weak point of the team, which isn't really weak. Uh, we've got Surface Prawns next. Mendy, Lorente, and Wijnaldum are the only tradable cards. Only suggestions uh, for improvements with 150,000 coins on Thursday. Keep it the good work. Thank you, bro. 150 maybe just upgrading your Lorente. um you know the the rule breaker and the inform aren't actually that much anymore so the rule breakers is about 250k but the inform is 175k and both have decent uh upgrades in terms of stats so i would say if you can scrape together 175k for the inform Lorente. go with that left cdm um then then just save save and save and save and this is what i'll say to a lot of people if you have teams like this at this stage in the game right you have pretty much one of the best defenses in the whole game. Midfield's incredible. To the point where you literally can't figure out who to upgrade in your team. You know, you feel like you've got the best attack, the best midfield, the best defense. The best thing you can do is save, store fodder, uh, grind menus, grind SBCs and upgrades and stuff. And then if we get, for example, a base icon pack or a good icon SBC or a good value player SBC, do that and try and fit that card in your team. That's the only way, in my opinion, that you can grind the game and, and get 
more players in the team um, when you have a really, really good team, you know? And obviously, there are players you can improve on in this team. You know, you can go with, I don't know, an Eden Hazard at, like, at left wing, and you can go with an informed Valverde at left CDM and things like that. But um, if, you, if your team is performing really well, you know, week in, week out, what's the point? You know, if you if you enjoy the team, don't fix them that isn't broken. Then you just look for the next opportunity to get a big boy player in the team and build around that player. That's how I, I've done it in previous years. Obviously, this year, I'm just a pay-to-win rat bag. But in previous years, that's how I did it. Uh, we've got Harris's team next. Any improvements for 100,000 coins and a rating? Semedo, uh, Sissoko, Gomez, Alisson, Dembele are the only tradables. Of course, mate. So... By the way, I didn't rate the other person's team, but it was like an 8 out of 10 because it was like end game. Um... In terms of upgrades, 100,000 coins, again, you can't upgrade this team with 100k. Like, these are unrealistic. But I think that you grind towards Kante for Sissoko. That's definitely one point you should look towards upgrading. Then you grind towards Varane for Kunde. Um, that's another point. In terms of a current rating, oh, and then obviously, obviously the, the far in the future ones are like Mbappe for Dembele and Neymar for Bamba, etc. Um, in terms of upgrade, uh, sorry, in terms of a rating for this team, um, as you're playing a 4 2 3 1 in game, I would give this team in game a solid 7.5 out of 10. You know, it's not full sweat because, you you know, Bamba, I wouldn't say is a meta sweat. Pogba CDM is not meta sweat in my opinion. Um, so it's not full sweat and it's, you know, you've got some nice plays in there. You've got some nice five-star skillers. It's a solid team to be fair. Um, it's very nice. Uh, and, and obviously you've got untradeable Rashford, which I'm very jealous about. I really want to get that card. We're going to send a full, a full send on stream packs wise to try and get that Rashford over the next day or two. Um, we've got Nose Team. I've got 50k, everyone untradeable, uh, including the bench, except for Dembele, Konate, Depay, Andre, and Sanson. Could save up if needed. Second pick is our playing game. Love the vids, mate. Keep up the good work. Thinking of buying the third pick eventually. What are your thoughts? So, this is what you're currently playing with. This is how it plays in game. Ah, uh, solid in game, to be fair. And this is what you are aiming towards in the future. It's good. However, what I would say is... Stop aiming for this and start aiming higher. I think you can do better than this, to be honest. I would say Neymar left wing, left Cam Mbappe. This is what you want to aim for in the far future. We're going full meta sweat. We're going Varane at left CB. We're going Mendy at left back. We're going uh, Pogba, you know. We're getting all the players in there. Uh, but in terms of this team, though, in terms of upgrades, uh, right now for 50,000 coins... How much is the inform of Meccano? Is that a big upgrade? I actually don't know the price of this card because it came out so early in the game. I've not kept track of it. And that's a 200k card. Okay. Well then. Um, I'm just thinking, you know what could be a good shout? Maybe playing in Babu off chem or 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 playing uh Mukele off chem. Um huh. I'm just wondering what would be the better option. I think you play Mukele at left CB, play Babu at right back, um, and then you've got a much better CB. Because Ubmakano is decent, right? But that Mukele is really good. And then save up towards uh, Furland Mendy if you can't afford him already. You're on Xbox, you might be able to afford Furland. Let me have a look how much that Furland card is. Not quite. Um, but you will be able to soon to get Furland Mendy at left back. Um, and then uh, the last team is going to be, or the last two teams are going to be Clerco and David. So, Teles, Walker, Bellerin, and Allen are all in trade. We'll pack Walker in a team of the upgrade and sold VVD. Have 700k. Which team would you recommend? Love the vids, mate. Congratulations on the weight loss. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Wow. That's a nice team. Ooh. I think this one looks more fun, personally. Both are great. This one looks more fun, in my opinion. Um, I think that Mane and uh, Aguero are going to be more fun than Werner and, and Son, personally. Um, however, so Maxi means also fun. I would go with this and then grind towards upgrading your right winger. But the rest of this team is fantastic. I think that would be a lot of fun, to be honest. That Aguero is a lot of fun to use. I can't even lie. Um, and then we've got David's uh, team. To finish off the video, everyone is untradeable except for Valverde, Carrasco and Watkins. Uh, I've got 50k at the moment, but I also have an untradeable Werner. I'm not sure if I should play him or not. Thank you. Um, all right, let's check it out. So, I would probably... I wouldn't play Werner, personally. What I would do for this team, I would just save and save. Um, save save up coins. Your end goal, in my opinion, is trying to get an inform Rashford. 
uh, for striker and then getting yourself a another right mid. Maybe go with Raheem Sterling. Maybe go with uh, um, Informs of Maximin off chemistry. Um, I don't think it's that hard to grind coins this year. And I think in two or three weeks, you can easily grind three, four, five hundred K on this game just by grinding the menus, playing Div Rivals, maybe playing a bit of squad battles in your spare time. It's not difficult in my opinion, and I think it's definitely possible. Um, so that's what I would personally do. Uh, and I think you just, you know, you grind the game, you grind the menus, you grind SBCs. Um, if Marky Matchup comes out, you check Marky Matchup. See if you've got a player in your club that might be selling for a bit more. Sell that card, you know, just, just grinding in general. And one thing I find that helps a lot is just having streams on in the background as well and watching other Roto Glory uh, players like, you know, Nick2018, for example, uh, and how they do it and kind of try and mimic their grind as well. Um, but that is it for the episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy. Thank you all for watching the episode. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. I'll see you lads later.